Let's talk about Hanks. Now, when I first joined the EDC community, I started carrying a Hank, but before that, I never thought to carry one. I always wiped my glasses on my shirt. I always cleaned my lenses with my shirt as well. So I never thought to carry around a handkerchief with a microfiber cloth on the back of it. And once I did start carrying them, I realized how useful they were. So today in front of me, I have three different Hanks from three different makers that I wanted to share with you guys. I wanna talk a little bit about packaging, experience, and honestly, which one I feel like has held up the best over time. Which one do I feel like you guys are not only going to enjoy the most with the experience of purchasing it, but just enjoy it overall in the long run. So the first Hank that I got into was Mighty Hanks, and I feel like that's pretty common. Um, they're one of the more well-known brands, at least in my opinion, they're one of the more well-known brands in the Hank community. Um, tons of different styles. They've collaborated with a ton of different people. And this was the very first one that I bought. It's a plaid pattern, you know, me and my lumberjack patterns. Um, and yeah, this was the very first one. And honestly, it's really faded. The back of the microfiber cloth is all cut up and torn. Um, I use this for, for everything. And I've had it probably for a year and a half. Um, I used it to wipe my glasses, to clean lenses, to clean dirt off of my knives. And honestly, they're, they're really well done. I wasn't too impressed with the packaging. The packaging, I threw it away. Um, it pretty much just has a band and I believe a sticker it comes in, you know, like a standard box. So as far as unboxing experience, it wasn't anything special, but the Hanks themselves are really well made. I do enjoy the microfiber. I enjoy the variety, um, but I only own two. The reason I own two is because in all honesty, I just wasn't really impressed after that. Um, one of them was gifted to me by my friend Jay, and I love it to death. It's a really cool pirate pattern. Um, and yeah, and that was pretty much the end of the line for me and Mighty Hanks. Um, no disrespect to, to her and her work, uh, but there was just nothing really special about it afterwards. The second maker on the list is somebody that I am very um, biased to, um, and it's Renegade EDC. Uh, I've spoken about Renegade's Hanks for a very long time. I feel like Chris offers a really high quality hank with high quality packaging and it's worth every penny. Um, you have your leather tab on here with the Renegade EDC logo. He has this amazingly soft microfiber and the fabric that he uses for each one of his hanks, whether it's this herringbone one or the Ricky Erling EDC uh, collaboration, the fabric is just really soft. I don't find myself often using the fabric on the other side of the hank because I'm always using the microfiber to clean my lenses and whatnot. But knowing that this fabric is really soft makes me more, more comfortable. I don't know, there's like that kind of tactile feeling that you're just like, okay, this is high quality. Um, I also know that Renegade offers different styles of stitching over on his website, which is also a really nice touch, different thread colors. And the packaging is just incredible. I mean, Chris has always taken the time to write handwritten notes, um, to throw in a sticker as well. All of that stuff really makes the unboxing of this handkerchief a full experience. And I think that's what, in my opinion, really sets his hanks aside from everybody that's on this table. So if you're looking for a really high quality design, there's tons of different options. I mean, Chris sends pictures of all the hanks laid out on the table and he has everything you could possibly think of and if he doesn't you can go ahead and shoot him a dm and he'll most likely try and find it so as far as experience quality quality of packaging renegade edc will forever be my go-to and the last one on the list is one that i acquired recently so i haven't been through a full-on you know stress test with it um, but it's from Damn Hanks, so it's owned by Jim and Amanda. They were kind enough to send me one of these Hanks as a gift, um, and I'm very grateful for that. The size is very similar to what you may find on a Mighty Hanks, and it has your microfiber on the back. Um, the one thing that I chose on this was the topo design on the front, but they went ahead and did their own stitching. You know, the one thing that I really enjoy about this particular Hank, it's its size. You know, Renegade EDC, his hanks are a little bit bigger, which is not a, a bad thing at all. Um, the one thing that I have noticed though, is when I'm wearing things like basketball shorts or joggers, having the smaller um, handkerchief seems to fit the pocket a little bit better. But if I'm wearing jeans or something, you know, dress pants, for example, I definitely don't mind having a larger hank. But as far as damn hanks go, I threw away the packaging, unfortunately, but it was very nice. It was a sealed envelope 
with a little stamp on there as well. And it brought a really cool little addition, which was this poker chip right here, which I'm not sure if it comes with all of their packages, but Jim was kind enough to send one, uh, to send one of these to me. And I think it's really cool. It's a really nice touch. I mean, it's a way to promote the brand, Damn Hanks. I think it's really cool that it's a poker chip instead of carrying a challenge coin. Um, but I was just genuinely impressed with the design and the packaging from Jim and Amanda over at Damn Hanks. So that's, in my opinion, what you're getting for this and supporting Jim and Amanda. Um, I would choose it over something like Mighty Hanks, for example. Um, again, no shade to Mighty Hanks. They're, they're doing cool, cool work um, and a lot of great success to them. But I do feel like there's better options in the market when you're spending $25 to $30 on a handkerchief. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this kind of review conversation helps you guys out if you're choosing a new Hank or if you're trying to, if you're wanting to try a new Hank. Um, I'll go ahead and link all these guys down below so you can check out their Instagrams, you can check out their work, reach out to them, chat with them, and make sure that if you are purchasing a Hank, it's one that you're gonna be truly, truly happy with. If you own any of these guys, let me know what your favorite one is down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.